Hi, Glenn Phillips with Lake Homes Realty and LakeHomes.com. Today I'm going to talk about that awkward thing when one of your friends or family member thinks you should pick them to be their real estate agent to buy or sell a property. You know what? If they're a great agent, go for it. But do you ever have that awkward thing about, mm, I don't want to disappoint or displease them or other family. What do I do? And you just pick it out of default when maybe there really is someone who, who can help you with this transaction. So I want to give you some things that may be helpful uh, when you're in that dilemma. And you know what? Maybe your friend or family member will be the best agent. So let's talk about these four things right off the bat of what can help you. One, it's a business decision. This is not about personal and friends. I mean, you wouldn't just pick a dentist because uh, he's your brother-in-law. He maybe is a great dentist, but people kind of give you a pass. Same thing. What if you're in an important lawsuit? You want to get the best attorney for that type of transaction. There's a lot at stake. Real estate's often your biggest financial investment. And I know many agents believe, oh, well, it doesn't really matter which agent you pick. I contend the best agents can differentiate themselves. So it does matter. And anybody who says it doesn't matter is probably not the professional you want. Point number two to help you out, interview for best choice. This is not an interview of who do you like. And you can even tell your family or friends if you pick someone else, this wasn't about, I love you, but this was a business decision and here's why. And one of the ways to do that is interview somebody for best choice and you may find an agent who truly can offer something better and it'll be very easy to compare. I interviewed everybody and this was the plan they offered or here's the tools they offered and you didn't mention those and I love you and maybe we'll do something in the future. But interview for best choice and remember it's not about who you like, it's who can help you attain your goal in the time frame you want. Point number three, a generalist versus a specialist. Now, my tips today are about any type of real estate, but if you're selling a specialty product like a lake home, a journalist won't know all the many nuances of that market, both finding buyers from out of town, connecting with those that are in the same market, uh, the nuances of how to list that property and get exposed to people from other states. A generalist may do great, but the lake is such an unusual thing or any other type of specialty product. It can even be as specialized as your neighborhood. Someone who knows that neighborhood is going to likely be more effective if they have a track record of successful sales in that market. The other thing here is look for unique offerings. Is there something the agent you want can do that no one else can do? For instance, in his example, a Lake Homes Realty agent is the only agent who can get a property as a featured property on lakehomes.com. Now, any agent who lists the property in our participating MLSs, those properties will appear. But the extra exposure on lakehomes.com comes from listing with a Lake Homes Realty agent. Now, this is just an example, and in your market and your type of real estate, there may be other types of offering. But be sure to also compare that this is what you really want is if you're, if you're buying a property, you're wanting somebody who can help you locate that property better, faster. And if you're selling it, how can they maximize the number of buyers, which increases your likelihood of getting that deal as fast as you want. I get it, it's complicated. But you know, it is business, and if somebody gets their feelings hurt because you didn't pick them, that's not professional. In our business, the real estate agent's job is to be the professional when everyone else is being emotional. Clearly you want to take care of family and friends, but don't let this become a guilt situation that costs you thousands of dollars. In fact, if this is a guilt situation, one of my, my fifth tip that I didn't even put down is, you know what? Give them some money because it's a gift. If they're asking you to pick them as their agent because they're going to get money off of it, you may as well get a better deal and give them a gift. They don't even have to do the work and maybe that helps you in that awkward situation of family and friends. But for the most part, your family and friends, if they're balanced and smart and understand, they know it's a business decision just like picking any other professional. I hope this video has been helpful. We have lots of other real estate videos online. We have lots of tips and articles about living at the lake. And of course, we have tens of thousands of lake properties for sale across the country in a number of states. If you want to know something about a particular market, check with one of my Lake Homes Realty agents across the country. They're going to be a specialist in their market. They'll be glad to help you. Thank you and have a great day. For more information, be sure to check out lakehomes.com.